Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, helping you towards your goals of health, wealth, and wisdom. Many of you in trying to obtain your goal of wealth may be considering real estate investing. And I just want to give you three warnings about real estate investing, which I have done some and, and uh, believe me, I've, I've got some wisdom about it. Uh, first off, real estate values can drop very quickly. They can go up very quickly and they can drop just as fast. You're generally trying to make money from real estate in one of two ways. One, you hope the value goes up significantly so you can sell for a profit, or B, you're trying to make uh, continuous money on a rental unit and that's cash flow positive. That is, you know, after all your expenses, you're making a profit each month. And if real estate values go down, it can affect both of those. You, you may not be able to get as high as rent. Two, the government can hurt you and they can hurt you bad. The government can hurt you in a myriad of ways. One, or A, they can raise your property taxes. This happened to me. I owned a duplex and uh, I had it all cash flow positive and suddenly they raised my real estate taxes significantly. And uh, it took me two years to, of battling to finally get it back down to a level in which it was reasonable. Um, it's, just, it's just something you don't want to go through. Uh, B, they can change the local real estate uh, laws or statutes or codes. They can make you uh, suddenly uh, change all the egress windows in your, your uh, uh, bedrooms that they have to be larger. They, they can uh, make you get rid of a deck. They can, there's just so many ways they can hurt you and, and, and all that costs you money. Um, and see, the, the current laws, you should understand, are definitely slanted in favor of the tenant. Um, you almost have no rights, it seems, when it comes to the, the tenant-landlord relationship. The third thing, uh, warning about real estate, is that your tenants, most tenants, are going to lie to you. You need to check references and you need to do background checks. I had one applicant, really nice kid, came in. Um, I checked on his, his job status. He was a very hard worker, worked for a furniture company. And I also happened to have a brother-in-law who's a cop, so I, I would always do uh, criminal background checks on him. And sure enough, there was a warrant out for his arrest. You know, just these things that you can't imagine um, occurring, and they do. Uh, two, I had another, probably the best tenant I ever had, and this one I actually let slide. I had no smoking in my, in my duplex. and. Uh, she always paid her rent on time, always kept the place uh, just perfect, you know, clean. But when I'd go into the bathroom, I could smell smoke. And I know that she'd go in there and she'd turn the fan on and she'd smoke. Again, I let that one go because she was so good in any other way. But they're all going to lie to you to a large extent. So just go into real estate with your eyes wide open. It's a very tough field. It's not, there's no quick way to, to riches in that environment. Good luck.